The Bluetooth device is ready to help. Music. Hey guys, how you doing? Give it lose it here, the Latin salsa slash bachata dancer who has as a hobby for almost 14 years now this YouTube channel teaching guitar. And yes, I'm a self-taught guitarist and I just share whatever I can do, whatever I learn, whatever I pick up. And one of the questions that I got often was about Reiki. Reiki is not nearly close enough to a beginner or improver because you have to play on the upbeat. Now this will be second lesson, I'm going to connect it right here guys. So when you learn the easiest method, which is the finger picking two quarters I'm going to show right now. So once you learn that, you can go to that video which I already have in the description and I showed you in the info card, where you can do the strumming. And you can use it to sing along with a song, only this lesson strumming, uh, picking pattern. Or the second one which is the strumming, you can use a pick if you like or you can also use both of them in one song. For an intro, do this one and do the strumming when the song goes higher and flourishes. All right, so enough of that. I'm going to start you in a completely different direction of what I'm doing with the bar chords and I'm gonna add it gradually into it, okay? First, let's take a C chord, which it is a C chord on the bar chords, but we'll take it no bar for now. So it is important for this lesson, guys, to have a basic experience of uh, the, you know, the C major chord. This is how usually people hold it with the three fingers here. I'm going to also have the shapes of the chord so you can see which fingers. But I usually put only my pinky. I bend it right back like this and I bar all three strings, the second, the third and the fourth. And I have a C major, then I move into a G major, then an A minor, that's two frets more down, all the way up to the F and start the loop again. When you want to finish, return from the F to the G, a step to the C, and then from the G to the C, and that gives you a nice ending, which this is actually the chords for No Woman No Cry from Bob Marley. Now you already know this thing. Now you already know the chords for the song, guys. Uh, now let's really get into the picking. Very, very simple. Use the thumb. And then the three fingers for the first, middle, and uh, third, second, and first string. Now this breakdown is for the people who didn't get it from the picking I did it in the beginning and they ask more accurate. If you are good enough, when you saw it at the beginning, you picked it up, cool, switch off the video. If you need help to see what's the little tricks that I've done to get that on the offbeat, because that is actually the intermediate difficulty, not the little techniques that I'm going to be showing you here. It's staying on the beat. So this track, by the way, I'm going to have it also in my description, in my Google Drive. You can click on it. It's safe. You can go and you can download the MP3. It's just uh, a long time of this nice rhythm reggae and you can use the, any chords you like, any chords and play along with it. So, the picking goes... Now it sounds like it's a country, it's not <laughs> reggae. But if you pluck... What is a pluck? Some of you might know, it's also called muting. I like to call it dead notes, which is more correct. I simply press on the string that I want to play, but I don't press hard enough to touch the wood. So that's a dead note. So I play a dead note for the bass, that's the beat down. At the same time, you stomp your foot, one, and press down. Then when you stomp your foot on beat two, 
lift your fingers again up and then lift them up uh, sorry down in order to get the sound so you get now you're telling me why am I alternating since I'm just playing dead notes because we're pressing some we still get that different sound of bass and why don't you just play it full bass it sounds like country it doesn't have that oomph in the pickup and when we do it on the bar chords it's gonna sound even better so that's the little bit tricky part that we're gonna have to go through but we'll go through it together guys nice and slow first you know the right hand now what does it does downbeat with the thumb upbeat with the three fingers unky, unky, unky. now our purpose is to get that sound of the offbeat to sound really loud so we have to have the muted the dead strings so why am I what am I doing here now I'm getting the C chord all right you know the one that you place three fingers and one here usually but this is my style like that and when I want to press there you go nice and clean chord so we start on this one bass but we only have the finger on the chord just the shape now we're gonna play the triple now release for the second bass and press again Okay, so you're gonna practice this on the C chord, then change to a G chord. Again, I have the diagrams of the chords, and I am not pressing down. These are dead notes. Using dead notes for strumming, it's the next lesson that I have uploaded. Go check it out again, it's in the description. It can't pop up again, uh, but you can find it in the info cards. Then go to down to the A minor, that's again the shape on the 5th fret holding without the badass finger. Yeah, it looks like I'm giving you the finger now, yeah? And it doesn't matter if you start with the down and up, just then move all the way up to the last bar which is the F and change to the C again, G, A minor. And you can fly from here up to the F. Instead of going G, go back. Uh, sorry, instead of going C, go to the G to finish it. But now you also heard me doing a double tone in there, yeah? That's why I'm taking it a little bit slow because the double tone can be confusing. You can use it continuously. But you've noticed I have a single one in there. So I go boom pa pa boom pa boom pa pa boom pa boom pa pa boom pa boom pa da boom pa boom pa pa boom pa pa. Okay, not great singer, but helping with the guitar. So I think I covered all the basic guys, and that's how you get it. And try to stomp your foot every time you play with your thumb. Dead note, press notes. I call them a live note. Dead note, a live note. Check out and the end screen cards right after the finish of the video so you can go to the other video and learn how to do it. With a strumming pattern. Alright, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure you put a like, a share or a subscribe. And also I have a donation paper button if you feel I've offered you something useful. Thank you very much for watching and learning guys with me. We progressed together for years now. You've pushed me to go to another level on the guitar with all your questions and the lessons you wanted and the songs you wanted. I actually learned how to sing also because of that. And uh, I just wanna say thank you to all of you and to my subscribers and to the people who follow me for over a decade. God bless.